Hey, this is Arkansas Pilgrim. Welcome to my first YouTube video. It's going to be done with a handheld, cheap smartphone, so I'm not sure if you should expect too much. We'll just see how it goes. At any rate, I've been inspired by Josh Stony Ridge Farmer and by Cody Wrangler Star. Josh started his channel by deciding to film doing a project, sharpening his bush hog. Well, that's what I'm doing. I've got a project, so I'm going to film it. And Cody Wrangler Star has been quite an inspiration to me, uh, especially on things a lot more important than what I'm doing today, which is replacing a tool handle. But he's done a lot of tool handles, and I'm going to be just doing something a little bit different. I don't know if he's going to approve of my method, but we shall see. We're going to be replacing a broom handle. As you can see, this broom handle has a problem. Obviously, a low quality handle and there's two reasons for that that you could take note of the first being it's on something that was purchased at Harbor Freight which makes it questionable quality already and the other is how it broke here you see it's the grains not straight along the handle so it's obviously just been made out of wood that's just They've cut a whole bunch of pieces and had them turned automatically and weren't worried about whether the grain was straight or not. At any rate, we're going to replace this in a manner where we'll never have to replace it again. And I don't know if Cody would actually consider it the proper way to do it, but if I was going to duplicate his method, what would be the point of doing this video? All right, first of all, we're going to start by getting this handle out. Got rivets here. Just take a hand drill and drill those rivets out. Different handles might have the end attached in different ways, or it might not have any end at all and be wooden. Uh, and that that'd be a little bit different repair, but you could figure that out yourself. Uh, next, you just need to immobilize it a little bit so you can. Uh, pound out the, uh, uh, the, the rivet, uh, the pin that goes all the way through. Uh, you can do that in a vise, but my uh, section of my table is, uh, that has the vise on it. It's kind of a mess, so I don't want to show it here. You know, so I've just clamped it down, and I'm going to use a punch to drive it out. And, uh, or if you don't have a punch, you can use like a, a, Phillips, a small Phillips screwdriver. I recommended getting a set of punches and I was joking about Harbor Freight but their tools are a lot better than they used to do mostly and something like simple punches like this or actually they it's kind of hard to go wrong buying something inexpensive from there but since I'm having to hand hold my phone as a camera I am going to drive this out uh, off camera since uh, I can't hold the punch and hammer with both hands and hold the camera so the end is now removed and we're ready to reveal the secret for the never have to maintain the handle again or replace the handle. Electrical metallic tubing, also known as EMT. This is a piece of three quarter, which costs about six bucks or so from Lowe's. And all you need to do is put the end on here. Which I'm having to do one handed because that hole provides a place to, to drill. You can go ahead and drill the hole through there, and that'll be the next step that I'm again going to do off camera. There we go, we got the hole all the way through now, which takes a little bit of skill to make sure you actually drill straight across so that it lines up with the other hole. Um, and Next step is to attach. I'm going to be using a piece of a number 10 machine screw because that happened to be the size of the hole. Uh, if you are really wanting to go on the cheap, which is, and it's perfectly acceptable for doing this, you might, uh, depends on the size of the hole, you might stick a big nail through there and just bend it over because there's not really any load on this. It's just holding the thing in place because the this does uh, grips down on the handle keeps it from going anywhere 
And again, I'm using number 10. Oops. And putting a little washer on there too, because when you have any kind of metal to metal uh, you know, bolting something down, it uh, uh, you can't put it on very tight. As soon as it hits the metal, it kind of stops. If you have something that squeezes a little bit, it, uh, it doesn't loosen very easy. If you don't have anything that can kind of compress, it will actually, um, it's, if it loosens at all, it's, it's loose. So, all right, uh, I'm going to go ahead and tighten that down and then go to the next step. That's been tightened down. I'm going to go ahead and slip it in here. I'm just going to try to do something one-handed here and see if it works. What do you know? And, of course, now we just twist her on in. Give it a little tighten. And go ahead and tighten these suckers down. I don't know if Cody would think of this as proper, but especially for something like a broom, wooden handle, it's not as pretty, but hey, lasts forever. As Cody says, when you get a wooden handle, you need to put some boiled linseed on, boiled linseed oil on it. But uh, once a day for seven days, you know, or once a day for a week, once a month, uh, once a week for a month, then once a month for a year, and then once. A year. Well, there's, let's see what is it, 7 plus 4 is 11 plus 12 is 23. So there's 23 reasons and counting why not to have a wooden handle. But this actually, so my apologies to Cody, but for this, I I wish I had the time to and a piece of life to be able to do that because I actually have boiled linseed oil, some other handles, and it's uh, uh, there is a certain pleasure to it when you see the grain in the wood. But here, I don't want to. That's different on an axe or some other tool, but just with a broom. It's going to last forever. Have it. Never have to replace that tool handle again. And I guess you got to see most of it. And maybe next time, if there is a next time, I'll uh, find a way to hold the camera so that uh, I can have both hands free and we won't have so much camera shake. And we'll see how well the focus worked also. Uh, I guess you will have already seen that considering this is the tag at the end. Anyway, if there is a next time, we'll see you then. Have a good one.